Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make sugar cookies. So most of my ingredients are already measured, right? But I'm going to show you three of the ingredients and how to do this because it could be the first time measuring these items or I just feel the need to show you again. So baking powder, remember your baking powder has a leveler on it. All right, so what I always do is I lean it over, I heap over, and then I scrape using that leveler so I have a nice leveled off baking powder. It calls for one teaspoon. I'm gonna put that over to the side. Put my cap on, and I'm just gonna put it to the side right now. Next ingredient I'm gonna show you is one tablespoon of milk. You're gonna pour the milk all the way up Okay, try to get nice and close, depending on if the milk is new or not, maybe harder to measure, but I'm gonna go really, really slow, fill it to the tippy top. I got a little that spilt, that's okay. All right, and then I have my tablespoon of milk. This is a shared ingredient, so that would be going back on the shared supply table. I'm gonna put that over to the side. Next is my sugar so it calls for a cup of sugar so i have a leveler i have wax paper so again i would just take the container like this keep it and then level it off okay so you can level it off here again that's why you have a large enough piece of wax paper i level it off and then i'm going to put it on other piece of wax paper. Look how big my piece of wax paper is because I have to get a, a cup of sugar on there. I'm actually using parchment paper for the, for the video to show you because it's just easier to write on and it sits a little flat for me as well. And then you'll be measuring one and three quarters of a cup of flour. So a nice big piece for the measured and a nice big piece for me to level over. So you need your spoon, you need a leveler. So again, lightly spoon. So you could spoon it over the container. I'm running out of video space here. You can do it over here. That is up to you. Again, I have a big enough piece of wax paper. Heap it over, do not pack down. Chop it up a little bit and level it off. So I want to see the piles as well. So I'm going to do one cup and then it calls for one and three quarters of a cup. So I'm going to use a half cup and a quarter cup or I could use a quarter cup three times. But to save time, I'm going to do the half and space on my piece of paper here. I'm gonna then put a half cup and then I'm gonna lightly spoon, keep over, level off, a quarter of a cup. Any extra flour is gonna go into your container. Okay, so now I have all my ingredients measured. It calls for a half cup of butter, which is one stick, one cup of sugar, one egg cracked, one and three quarters of a cup of flour, it says it right there, one tablespoon of milk, a half teaspoon of vanilla, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So that's my measured ingredient. And then I'm gonna show you how to put all those ingredients together for day one of the sugar cookie dough. Okay, all my ingredients have been measured and now it's time to move on to my direction. So remember, two people are doing this at the same time. So number one, it says in the electric mixing bowl, cream together the butter until softened and mixed well. So I'm gonna be putting this in my mixer, one full stick of butter. Make sure my bowl's on, lock it and turn it to the side. 
somebody else, so I'm not doing direction number two. I'm moving on to three because I'm one person. I'm gonna make sure I get all those piles. I have my piles of my flour. I'm gonna carefully pour it into my bowl, in my medium bowl, using my wooden spoon to stir together the flour, the baking powder, and my salt. And I'm gonna stir it, I have a wooden spoon. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna stir that together. Okay, so this is direction number three. This is direction number one. Okay, number two has to be done after number one, and then they go together. Okay, so number two, I'm gonna unlock it. It says to add my sugar. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna carefully grab my sugar. my egg, my vanilla, and my milk. And remember, all my glass paper, I've used it, I go into the garbage. I'm not gonna walk to the garbage right now. I'm gonna put this down. I'm actually gonna put my machine so it's a little bit closer so you guys can see what's going on. I'm gonna lock it because I can't really move my camera. All right, so I'm gonna cream that together. Mix until thoroughly combined. So I'm bumping it up. Remember, I have my rubber scraper. I have my medium bowl. It's going in the sink. I wanna make sure that that egg is broken up and my butter. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna scrape. I have a butter chunk in there. I'm gonna get that off. And I'm just gonna scrape it down while I'm in there. Scrape it all down. Put it back on. For about five to 10 seconds. So direction one was done, direction two was done by one person, and then direction three was done by another person. But if you're me, I'm one person. And then I'm gonna turn this off, unlock it, and then it says to add my ingredients from my medium bowl. So I'm gonna try to get it here, get my bowl all in the center, get all my flour. There we go. I'm gonna start this off very slow. It says add the flour mixture to the electric mixing bowl. Start with the mixer off slow, increase the speed until it forms a soft dough. So I have a piece of wax paper here. Make sure it's big enough. Hopefully you can see. What's gonna happen is it start coming off the side of the bowl. I'm gonna give it one more scraping. Get any flour you may not be able to see that's there. I'm gonna use my wooden spoon. Done. There we go. About five more seconds. Okay, right, done. Unlock it. Again, I like to take the paddle off. I like to get my machine, my bowl, not my machine, get away from the machine. Get as much batter off as I can. Off my paddle. Put that to the sides. Remember, I want to try to scrape it. Look, I'm scraping it. I'm not smushing it. Don't smush it. Scrape. Scrape, I scrape the bottom. Scrape, and you wanna make sure, I'm gonna actually flip this over so it stays. I'm gonna go, look, I get all that batter. Whoops, can't say all that batter, all at the same time. And you want one pile of it. You don't want it smeared all over the place. So look, I'm gonna go and grab, scrape, get that bottom, that's what I have. I'm gonna take my wooden spoon. So this is a rolled cookie, remember. 
We're going to roll it with a rolling pin and form shapes with it. Okay, this dough has to be chilled. It's too sticky to work with. At least two hours, we do it for a day. So all my dough is in the middle. And I'm going to fold it, wrap it like a present, slightly push it, bring it back this way, fold it over. I'm going to fold it here. I'm going to fold it here. And then I'm going to press it down. You want to slightly flatten it. So when it's time to roll it out on day two with your rolling pin, it's easier. You're going to label it with your uh, period number and your lab number. And then we'll show you day two in a moment. So here I am, day two of sugar cooking. I'm going to unwrap my dough. I'm going to take some flour. And I'm going to flour a large portion of my surface. Because remember, you're going to be rolling it out. So you want flour in that surface that you're going to be rolling. Well, actually the dough that I have here for day two is actually gluten free. Okay, because I do have some students who cannot have gluten. So this may roll out a little different than um, other dough that we use. And I'm seeing right away that this sat for a couple days and it's cracking tremendously. Okay, so I'm back. So I took my dough, all right? I just put it in the electric mixer for a moment. And like I said, because this batch is with the gluten flour, I had to warm it up a little bit more uh, and soften it. Okay, so now what anybody is gonna do with the sugar cookie dough, okay, is you're gonna just roll it out. I like to put a little bit of flour on the rolling pin. I have flour on my surface and I don't like to use the handles. But the sugar cookie, you're gonna go a little bit thicker, okay? Just keep rolling. Like I said, it may crack a little bit, that's fine. Just watch, you don't wanna get bumps, okay? Again, try to not use that. I'm putting a little bit of my weight as well. And every time you re-roll your scraps, you're gonna to try to make the cookies the same thickness as well, all right? So I also have a leveler close by in case my dough does stick. It's gonna be easier for me to get off of my counter. So I like to take, I'm using a biscuit cutter. We may use different cookie cutters, but I really feel that these work best because it has this little handle grip that you can grip it with. You do not wanna go right in the middle. So I'm gonna start off at the edge. I'm gonna move it a little bit. Sometimes it comes right up. I have my parchment lined cookie sheet over here. Then somebody can be decorating. Okay, I'm gonna just keep make as many cuts as I can. If it lifts up, it lifts up. See how that one lifted? And I'm just gonna transfer, okay? Nice and close, because the more you re-roll your scraps, the tougher your cookies can be. The more flour that you use, okay, as well, the tougher your cookies are going to be. You can see that this biscuit cutter is very easy because it's a circle. It doesn't have an odd shape to it. And this is coming out, out, okay, as I cut. I'm gonna try to get, maybe I could even get two more here. Okay, and then I have another one over here. I'm gonna grab these. So two going, take this one. And then you're gonna quickly take, so this is what a lot of students don't do right. Grab all your dough and then they take it like this and they start rolling, no. Bring it quickly in your hands. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. I'm forming it into a disc. I'm gonna lightly flour a little bit more flour. Form it, shape it, flatten it. A little bit more flour on my rolling pin. And then again, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna to continue to roll. I'm not gonna smush it too much. Okay, I'm going back and forth. I always say go to center out in all directions. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna keep re-rolling my scraps. I'm looking at the cookies that I just made and I wanna get them the same thickness so they cook at the same rate. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Cut, cut. I'm gonna continue doing this to shorten the video. I'm not gonna show you, so I'm gonna stop now and then I'll show you how to decorate. All right, so now it's time to decorate. So I could use 
um, these little sugar crystals if I want to add a little color. You don't have to put anything. There's already enough sugar in them. Okay, you can take sprinkles if you want. And you're gonna lightly press them down. You could also even just put a little bit of extra sugar on the top. You can never have enough sugar. All right, so I'm gonna decorate them all and then show you what they look like. All right, so that's the cookies decorated. All right, I put some sprinkles. I put, I did use the um, sugar crystals. I just feel it was a little bit easier to use that. And I think I have about like 21 cookies here, I think. I could be wrong. We're gonna go in the oven. We're gonna go five minutes, switch and turn our trays and go another five minutes. So a total anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes, depending on your oven. Okay, so the cookies just came out of the oven about three minutes ago and I've already let them cool. So the cookies continue to bake while they're on the hot cookie sheet because I know I like sugar cookies to be really, really soft. So my right hand is my spatula. On my left hand, I have an oven mitt so I don't burn my hand because the cookie sheets are still hot. All right, and then I'm gonna take and place the cookies then on my cooling rack. Okay, once they're cool enough for you to handle, you would then place them into your bag to take home, or you would place them in your mouth to taste. All right, so sugar cookies with Mrs. Sour. I'm not gonna show you how to do all of this because I am trying to shorten up the time. So that one person would be putting them over here, and then another person would have another spatula at the same time and putting them on the cooling rack over here. See how I have this big space in between? That's how you wanna set up your lab. So that is sugar cookies with Mrs. Sour.